songs from uh, Anatolia, which is the inner part of Turkey. One is a hymn from the northeast about a bird, Huma Kushu, and this bird represents also um, that it can fly very far. And it's a woman, it's about a woman who sings to this bird because her man went to army from a long, long time ago and he just doesn't appear back. So she's singing to this uh, bird Please bring some news, bring some news of my loved one. Uh, following that song, we will play a composition of a troubadour who lived in the uh, 20th century. Um, was a blind troubadour and he made a very big step in, uh, in the Anatolian music, in the folkloric Anatolian music. And it's about a long road where he is in. And the long road is very thin and very long. And he's walking without knowing where he is. And in this song, he represents also the, the life, how life goes, how life flows, that you don't know where you are, and you are always in search. Thank you. 
try to uh, represent, not try to represent, we will, try, we will represent it to you um, in our own way uh, and in our own interpretation. Thank you. 
about the resurrection of Jesus Christ and it refers to a bird which is a, a very common in the Gregorian church to have like a lot of symbols which represents a bird and this bird is called Awun. In the tradition of Armenian music there is also the duduk which is the most important instrument with this very particular sound, deep bass sound, played in a drum what I will produce on, on this instrument. And Raquel Reis will give a homage actually also to this instrument, the Duduk, by playing it on her cello, because it means also another language of defining the sounds which comes out of the real instrument. Songs called Haun, composed by Gregor Narkatsi, 10th century.
Now we will play an Armenian song for you, which is called Ezgishe. In Armenian music, a very important instrument is called Duduk. Duduk is a wooden instrument with a reed like this big, let's say, with a big part of reed. It's very difficult to press the reed because it's very thick. The sound, uh, what comes out of it, is really profound and very deep, has a deep bass. We don't have a Duduk with us, but we will try to represented the duduk in the sounds of what we make on our own instruments. I will play, the duduk player always is one tone and a drum, so he is like the background of the music, the canvas of the music, and Raquel will be the painter and also the paint herself by making the melody of Esgisher. Esgisher, and afterwards we will play an Armenian dance song, very class.
We will present you now a song in the Kurdish language from a very small village called Gizre. It's in the mountains and it looks when you look to the south. On the left is Iraq, on the right is Syria. And who follows the news can maybe understand that's not maybe the most easy place to live in nowadays. This song is quite remarkable, it's a very old song also, and it tells about life. It tells about life in the mountains, life of the people in the mountains, and also to have this peaceful life. And it's actually a prayer, a prayer to the tree who gives the figs, so the fig tree who grows in the mountains, because this fig tree brings life, brings prosperity and peace. So this song is called Dar Hejiroke in the Kurdish language, the fig tree in the mountain.
Thank you for uh, watching. Unfortunately, you have to watch and listen to us behind your screen, but I believe you are sitting also in a very nice place and a very comfortable place. I wish that for you. We are in a very amazing place. It's a very old, old, ancient place where they made olive oil, I suppose. We had the pleasure to be a part of this amazing festival uh, organized by amazing people. And it's, it's crazy nowadays, but to make this happen, to make it even happen that the art still continues and lives, I would like to thank all the people who are a part of this organization. Uh, Philippe in general, who made it all, all happen, and of course all his work is of course of this uh, amazing festival. We are Urian. Urian means, amaz means in Turkish the, the most naked form of pureness. We are trying to do that also in musical form. Tiago Santos on the Dora, Rakia Reis on the cello. My name is Gulami. I play the sas, which is a popular instrument for Turkey. We play now our last song, which is called Teli Turnam. And it's like a, it's called, it means my stringed bird. It has a strange time signature. Why? Because numerology, some numbers in spirituality in Anatolia is also very important, where the number nine is a very considered as a very holy number. This song will be also, as they call it, like in the nine eight, and it refers to spirituality through the music, through art itself. Teliturnam, my string bird. <laughs>